Good day viewers, you are welcome. How to solve these nice algebraic equations? Given that t power of 2 minus t power of 3 equals 12. And what is the value of t? Let's see solution. So here we have t power of 2 minus t power of 3 equals 12. So here is the given question. Then we are going to transfer this 12 to this side. As we have t power of 2 minus t power of 3 minus 12 equals 0. So the next step, we are going to split this 12 into the sum of 4 and 8. So here we have t power of 2 minus t power of 3 minus 8 minus 4 equals 0. And we write 8 and 4 in exponent form. Here we have t power 2 minus t power 3 minus 8 is 2 power of 3 minus 4 is 2 power of 2 equals 0. And next, let's group this based on the corresponding power. Here is t power of 2 and we have this as minus 2 power of 2. So we group them together and also we have minus t power of 3 with minus 2 power of 3, we group them together. So here we have t power 2 minus also this, we have 2 power of 2 in bracket. So here we take out negative as t power of 3 minus 2 power of 3 equals 0. So when we factor out negative from here, here is t power of 2 minus 2 power 2 in bracket minus open bracket t power 3 plus 2 power of 3 equals 0. So moving on, we consider this as difference of 2 squared t power 2 minus 2 power of 2. So it's a difference of 2 squared as when we have x raised to power 2 minus y raised to power 2. This gives us x minus y multiplied by x plus y. And here we have sum of 2 cubed, t power 3 plus 2 power 3. The same as when we have x power 3 plus y power 3 equals x. This is plus y. Then multiply by x squared minus xy plus y squared. So here are the two things that we are going to be applying for these two expressions t squared minus 2 squared and t cubed plus 2 cubed. So next, we are going to have, instead of x squared minus y squared, we change it to t minus 2. So multiplying t plus t plus 2 for the first one and also the second one we have minus open bracket t plus 2 multiplied by t squared minus 2t plus 4 and odd in bracket equals 0. So here we have t plus 2, and this is also t plus 2. 
we factor out t plus 2 from these two as we have t plus 2 then open bracket when we divide this by t plus 2 we have t minus 2 and also when we divide this by t plus 2 we have minus open bracket t squared minus 2t plus 4 equals 0 then by rearranging this we have t plus 2 bracket here is t minus 2 open this with negative we have minus t squared plus 2t minus 4 equals 0 so we have t plus 2 multiplied by t minus 2 minus t squared plus 2t minus 4 equals 0 then we have t plus 2 bracket here we have minus t squared so t plus 2t this gives 3t minus 2 minus 4 that gives us minus 6 equals 0 so next we have to let t plus 2 equals to 0 or minus t squared plus 3t minus 6 equals 0. So by letting the first one, we have t plus 2 equals 0. And this implies that t equals minus 2. Here is the first solution. And also, in the second one, we have minus t squared plus 3t minus 6 equals 0. So let's divide everything by negative. We have t squared minus 3t plus 6 equals 0. So this is what we have. And then we have this as a quadratic equation. We are going to solve this quadratically by having a equals 1, b equals minus 3, and c equals 6 from the coefficient of all these terms. So by applying the formula, we have t equals minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all divided by 2a then by start plugging in all these values we have here as 3 plus or minus the square root of minus 3 squared minus 4 multiplied by a is 1 multiplied by b is 6 6 6 divided by 2 times 1 and next we have 3 plus or minus the square root of all this gives us minus 15 then we have divided by divided by 2 so here is a complex solution as we have 3 plus or minus i root 15 divided by 2. This is for the value of t. So t equals 3 plus or minus i root 15 over 2 or we have t equals 2. So you can just try and verify with the first one that t equals minus 2 so to check at t equals minus 2 so we substitute we have t squared minus t cubed equals 12 so putting this value here into this we have minus 2 squared minus 2 cubed minus 2 squared that is 4 minus here is minus 2 cubed, that is minus 8. 
then minus minus 8 that gives us plus 8 and 4 plus 8 equals 12. So this is how to solve this problem. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Never stop learning. Bye-bye.